ladies and gentlemen i welcome to part three of my falcao's pro abs liquid version 2 tutorial and in this ep first episode we covered out how we covered how to set up the graphics to make the game um run on the get-go with the script um added to it and then we added the script to it so and then we tested it out and then it was running second episode which was last episode we covered the script settings and the stuff that you need to change if you want to change it change it around um the last um episode that i'm planning on doing is going more in depth on the settings and how to like make treat them to your liking and the stuff like that but that's later on in the tutorial so this next tutorial i'm going to show you how to set up the enemies because that's actually the easy the yeah the easiest thing to set up in the game because setting up skills um weapons armors and stuff well setting up armors is easy too unless you want to make the armors into weapons too then it becomes complicated and also setting up buffs and stuff like that is complicated so we're just going to do the enemies first and then we're going to start doing stuff okay first of all let's go ahead and set up our enemy um we've already actually have an enemy called this enemy is who we're going to be using skill we're going to go ahead and delete all of these stuff because that's from the other battle system that i did a tutorial on i'm gonna save this real quick then we are going to go to part documentation because it is there to help you please 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 read it beforehand before you even try to use this um script please read it even after watching this tutorial read it okay and even after you've mastered it you still have to read it trust me i read this all the time because some stuff you forget and then it's just there and you're convenient so we're setting up the enemies we are going to look for the enemy section that's things you need to know actors notes and here is the enemy okay um you could read this if you want to but um i'm not going to because i know stuff actually what we actually need to do is move down here that's not the one that we're looking at we're looking at enemies note tag and database first thing you need to know i'm not going to read that to you i'm just um hmm. anyways the stuff that we're going to again you have to read i'm not going to go over all these individually maybe in a separate episode but not this episode because it will get too long but what we do need to do is uh okay yeah reading i had to do something quickly real quickly but reading this stuff will basically give you the general idea of um the stuff that you need to do as enemy like enemy object equals true means that enemy is an object and then it gives you a good um, example of it on the right um what we're actually going to be um taking from this we actually don't actually need any of these stuff Whew, okay i had to run and i'm out of breath Enemy dead post true blah 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 blah. Enemy die switch X. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, we don't actually need to. Okay, setting up a simple enemy. We've actually done that and we're done with it. The only other thing we need to do now is actually just copy this. We don't have to copy it. I mean, you can um, write it yourself. I haven't memorized. So I know how to like do it quickly. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make the enemy over here. okay phone call stuff is just getting in the way of this tutorial so basically i'm just gonna go um look for a random enemy it doesn't really matter who it is this old guy looks interesting to be an enemy copy paste and then change x to the enemy id which is enemy one which is the id of the enemy um basically we now have our enemy set and keeping it and turn down the volume we have our enemy set and done <laughs> yep it doesn't do anything i understand <laughs> yay enemy that doesn't do anything we can't even actually test if he's an enemy or not okay so basically that's how you create an enemy and trust me he is an enemy so what we're gonna do now is copy this event page make a second event page and change this to b so what that does is whenever this enemy senses us next to it so um if it sees us seven tiles away it's going to turn on self switch b which is then going to activate this event page so we could actually test it out by 
leaving a message in this page right here. Test, testing. What is wrong with my keys? Testing, there you go. Did I start the video? Yeah, okay, that scared me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to the enemies to test if it actually works or not. Yeah, we're gonna be going over how to give the enemies actions and stuff like that, but for now, just wanna see if it works. As you can see, it's working because that's no possible way for um, self switch a, a, B to be turned on besides the way that we did it. So as you can see, the enemy is working. Yeah, we could talk to the enemies if we want to. Okay, now that we have done that, we now have to give the enemy actions, which is what we're going to do in the next episode because that will require us to create an, um, create a okay you know i'm just gonna make a simple weapon right now and just use it as a reference um i'm not gonna go over how i did it i'm just gonna make something simple to show you that to make the enemies attack us what i'm not actually gonna make i'm just gonna copy it over from my game and then next episode we'll go over doing just that a uh, little we'll to database weapons Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, paste it, which is 003. Go to script, go to documentation, go down to this one. Yeah, we're we already use weapon next. Custom move root, move towards player. Script. I believe it was three. Skip if you cannot move. Um, normal, highest. Okay, Duke. Ooh. Um. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's plopping. Whipping ID. Okay, that's oddly weird. Did I not just co copy and paste this whip in here? Hmm, that was weird. I don't know what I did. It was 100% my fault somehow, I think. But let's just go ahead and recopy this weapon over here and then press OK. OK. Maybe I copied it into armors. So not pretty sure. Yep, there you go. And now the enemy is, of course, working. Yay. It's now hostile to me. And we could still talk to it if we want to. As you can see, we are talking to the enemy. But yet he is still beating us up. So that's basically how you will essentially set up enemies. Um, we are going to get into more advanced ways to set up. This is the basic enemy setup. We're going to I'm going to be making another episode um, dealing with enemies called advanced enemy setup. Right now, it's just easy. The enemy attacks you when he's in range and when you're not in range, he just stops. And then when you come back in range, like, let's see. There you go. He's your range and then he start chasing you down and then start right now we can't attack us we don't actually have a weapon to fight with oh okay this is not the one yay enemy is set up okay that's it basic enemy setup completed thank you guys again for watching i've already have a, something else that does the thanking for me now so i don't have to do it every time but yeah thank you for watching you guys are great make sure to subscribe it helps me out a lot also like the video Comment, share with your friends, add to your favorites, all that YouTube other stuff. Help me be big on YouTube. Yeah. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. Make sure to like this video. And if you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts, please leave your comments down below to let me know. Once again, thank you.